The Green Cubo Relations, Melville S. Green 1954, Ryogo Cubo 1957 give the exact mathematical expression for transport coefficients. Gamma display style gamma in terms of integrals of time correlation functions gamma equals 0 infinity a t a 0 d t Display style gamma equals int underscore zero carrot inf t langle dot a t dot a zero wrangle mathrum d t. Topic: Thermal and mechanical transport processes. Thermodynamic systems may be prevented from relaxing to equilibrium because of the application of a mechanical field e.g. electric or magnetic field, or because the boundaries of the system are in relative motion or maintained at different temperatures, etc. This generates two classes of non-equilibrium system, mechanical non-equilibrium systems and thermal non-equilibrium systems. The standard example of an electrical transport process is Ohm's law, which states that, at least for sufficiently small applied voltages, the current I is linearly proportional to the applied voltage V I equals sigma V display style I equals sigma V as the applied voltage increases one expects to see deviations from linear behavior. The coefficient of proportionality is the electrical conductance which is the reciprocal of the electrical resistance. The standard example of a mechanical transport process is Newton's law of viscosity, which states that the shear stress S x y Display style s underscore x y is linearly proportional to the strain rate. The strain rate gamma display style gamma is the rate of change streaming velocity in the x direction with respect to the y coordinate. Gamma equals d e f U X Y display style gamma stacra mathrum def equals partial U underscore X partial Y. Newton's law of viscosity states S X Y equals eta gamma. Display style s underscore x y equals eta gamma. As the strain rate increases, we expect to see deviations from linear behavior. S x y equals eta gamma gamma. Display style s underscore x y equals eta gamma gamma. Another well-known thermal transport process is Fourier's law of heat conduction, stating that the heat flux between two bodies maintained at different temperatures is proportional to the temperature gradient the temperature difference divided by the spatial separation. <laughs> <laughs> Linear constitutive relation Regardless of whether transport processes are stimulated thermally or mechanically, in the small field limit it is expected that a flux will be linearly proportional to an applied field. In the linear case the flux and the force are said to be conjugate to each other. The relation between a thermodynamic force F and its conjugate thermodynamic flux J is called a linear constitutive relation J equals L F E 
equals zero F E Display style J equals L F underscore E equals zero F underscore E L zero is called a linear transport coefficient. In the case of multiple forces and fluxes acting simultaneously, the fluxes and forces will be related by a linear transport coefficient matrix. Except in special cases, this matrix is symmetric as expressed in the Onsager reciprocal relations. In the 1950s Green and Kubo proved an exact expression for linear transport coefficients which is valid for systems of arbitrary temperature T, and density. They proved that linear transport coefficients are exactly related to the time dependence of equilibrium fluctuations in the conjugate flux. L F E equals zero equals beta T V zero infinity D S J zero J S F E equals zero Display style L F underscore E equals zero equals beta T V int underscore zero carrot inf T mathram D S left Langle J zero J's right Wrangle underscore F underscore E equals zero where beta equals one K T Display style beta equals frac one k t with k the Boltzmann constant and v is the system volume. The integral is over the equilibrium flux autocovariance function. At zero time, the autocovariance is positive since it is the mean square value of the flux at equilibrium. Note that at equilibrium, the mean value of the flux is zero by definition. At long times the flux at time t, j t, is uncorrelated with its value a long time earlier j zero, and the autocorrelation function decays to zero. This remarkable relation is frequently used in molecular dynamics computer simulation to compute linear transport coefficients, see Evans and Morris. Statistical Mechanics of Non-Equilibrium Liquids. Academic Press 1990 Nonlinear response and transient time correlation functions In 1985 Dennis Evans and Morris derived two exact fluctuation expressions for nonlinear transport coefficients See Evans and Morris in Mol, Phys. 54, 629 Evans later argued that these are consequences of the extremization of free energy in response theory as a free energy minimum. Evans and Morris proved that in a thermostated system that is at equilibrium at t equals zero, the nonlinear transport coefficient can be calculated from the so-called transient time correlation function expression. L F E equals beta V zero infinity D S J zero J S F E Display style L F underscore E equals beta the fifth, int underscore zero, carrot, inf T, mathram D S, left, Langle J, zero, J's right, Wrangle underscore F underscore E where the equilibrium F E equals zero Display style F underscore E equals zero 
flux autocorrelation function is replaced by a thermostated field dependent transient autocorrelation function. At time 0 j 0 f e equals 0 display style left langle j 0 right wrangle underscore f underscore e equals 0 but at later times since the field is applied j t f e does not equal 0 display style left langle j t right wrangle underscore f underscore e n e q 0 Another exact fluctuation expression derived by Evans and Morris is the so-called Kawasaki expression for the nonlinear response. J T F E equals J zero exp minus beta v zero T J minus S F E D S F E Display style left Langle J T F underscore E right Wrangle equals left Langle J zero EXP left beta the fifth int underscore zero carrot T J S F underscore E Mathram D S right right Wrangle underscore F underscore E The ensemble average of the right hand side of the Kawasaki expression is to be evaluated under the application of both the thermostat and the external field. At first sight the transient time correlation function TTCF and Kawasaki expression might appear to be of limited use—because of their innate complexity. However, the TTCF is quite useful in computer simulations for calculating transport coefficients. Both expressions can be used to derive new and useful fluctuation expressions quantities like specific heats, in non-equilibrium steady states. Thus they can be used as a kind of partition function for non-equilibrium steady states. Topic: Derivation from the fluctuation theorem and the central limit theorem. Clarifications needed. For a thermostated steady state, time integrals of the dissipation function are related to the dissipative flux J by the equation omega t equals minus beta. J T V F E Display style bar Omega underscore T equals beta overline J underscore T V F underscore E. We note in passing that the long time average of the dissipation function is a product of the thermodynamic force and the average conjugate thermodynamic flux. It is therefore equal to the spontaneous entropy production in the system. The spontaneous entropy production plays a key role in linear irreversible thermodynamics. See de Groot and Mazur. Non-equilibrium thermodynamics. Dover. The fluctuation theorem (FT) is valid for arbitrary averaging times t. Let's apply the FT in the long time limit while simultaneously reducing the field so that the product F E two T display style F underscore E carrot two T is held constant Lim T infinity F E Zero one T lane P 
beta j t equals a p beta j t equals minus a equals minus lim t infinity f e 0 a v f e f e 2 t equals c Display style lim underscore t to inf t f underscore e to zero frac one t lane left frac p beta overline j underscore t equals a p beta overline j underscore t equals a right equals lim underscore t to inf t f underscore e to zero a v f underscore e quad f underscore e carrot two t equals c because of the particular way we take the double limit, the negative of the mean value of the flux remains a fixed number of standard deviations away from the mean as the averaging time increases narrowing the distribution and the field decreases. This means that as the averaging time gets longer the distribution near the mean flux and its negative, is accurately described by the central limit theorem. This means that the distribution is Gaussian near the mean and its negative so that lim t infinity f e 0 1 t lane p j t equals a P J T equals minus a equals lim T infinity F E zero two a J F E T Sigma J T two Display style lim underscore t to inf t f underscore e to zero frac one t lane left frac p overline j underscore t equals a p overline j underscore t equals a right equals lim underscore t to inf t f underscore e to zero frac two a left langle j right wrangle underscore f underscore e t sigma underscore overline j t T carrot two. Combining these two relations yields, after some tedious algebra, the exact Green-Cubo relation for the linear zero field transport coefficient, namely L zero equals beta v zero infinity d t j 0 j t f e equals 0 display style l 0 equals beta the fifth int underscore 0 caret inf t mathrm d t left langle j 0 j t right wrangle underscore f underscore e equals 0 here are the details of the proof of green cubo relations from the FT. A proof using only elementary quantum mechanics was given by Zwanzig. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Summary. 
This shows the fundamental importance of the fluctuation theorem in non-equilibrium statistical mechanics. The FT gives a generalization of the second law of thermodynamics. It is then easy to prove the second law inequality and the Kawasaki identity. When combined with the central limit theorem, the FT also implies the green cubo relations for linear transport coefficients close to equilibrium. The FT is, however, more general than the green cubo relations because, unlike them, the FT applies to fluctuations far from equilibrium. In spite of this fact, no one has yet been able to derive the equations for nonlinear response theory from the FT. The FT does not imply or require that the distribution of time average dissipation is Gaussian. There are many examples known when the distribution is non-Gaussian and yet the FT still correctly describes the probability ratios. See also Density matrix Fluctuation theorem Green's function many body theory Lindblad equation Linear response function <laughs>